Good morning and um, good afternoon um, to all of the attendees and thank you for joining our webinar today. My name is Andre Samuela and I'm um, part of the training and implementation team. Basically, um, it falls under my responsibility, um, the global training and implementation team. So thank you for joining today. Uh, today, I have the pleasure to present you the webinar for our APQP NPD all-in-one paperless using enterprise software solution. Um, I would like to start sharing with you my screen in a second. So one second. I hope my screen is visible now. So as I mentioned to you, our topic of the webinar today, it is APQP PPAP NPD all-in-one paperless using enterprise software solution. Our topics from agenda is a quick Omnix brief introduction. Hey, Andre. The EW... Yes, please. Uh, looks like we're seeing the presenter view of the screen. Better now? Yes, that's great. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. So the points of the agenda today, as I mentioned to you, Omnix brief introduction. So just so, so you understand who we are, the EWQIMS suite overview. So a quick uh, overview of, of our suite. And then we have the live demo. During the live demo, I plan to go through the concept of platforms under a single suite. Landing pages, dashboards, and business intelligence reports as well are going to be presented. Features and benefits of NPD platform and new product development pl platform. Program of programs concept as well. Integrated man uh, modules part of the NPD platform. A quick introduction on mobile apps because we use also mobile apps into our software. And last but not least, I'd like to just present a few figures in terms of return of investment because at the end of the day, um, we all know that any investment has to have a return of investment. And last but not least, very important as well, Q&A. That would be the plan for today. So I'd like to get started now. Um, as I mentioned to you, a brief introduction of Omnix. So Omnix provides training, consulting, and software solution to the international market with offices in US, Canada, Mexico, China, Germany, India, Middle East, and Southeast Asia. Omnix offers over 400 standard and customized training courses in business, quality, environmental food safety, laboratory, and health and safety management systems worldwide. Um, in just a few words about myself, um, my name again is Andrew Samuela. I'm a consultant with a broad range of experience in working with automotive, aerospace, high-tech, medical, and electronics customers involved in design and development of hardware. Um, I've been also involved in managing international teams and programs in multiple countries. Um, and in terms of my background in industries, um, I've been working with companies and um, industries like automotive, um, electronics, um, aerospace as well. So that would be a quick introduction of myself. Moving forward, who we are. We are headquartered in Ann Arbor, Michigan, USA, and we operate worldwide through our regional headquarters offices in Berlin, Germany, Chennai, India, Shanghai, China, and also other 16 worldwide offices. We have more than 35 years of experience um, in not only software, but also uh, six other levers as well. And I'm going to explain you about that as well. In terms of employees, we have more than 700 employees spread it over in uh, 30 worldwide countries. Uh, I'm proud to say the fact that we train more than 500,000 individuals in our methodologies. And again, I feel really proud because part of our team, we have members of the AIG manual writing committees for the AIG VDA, 
for APQB, FMAA, and SPC, MSA as well. We also served on committees that wrote worldwide standards. And to name a few, QS9000, IATF 6949, AS9145 um, for aerospace. And we also authored several standards and methodologies for uh, operations improvement. Our director board includes quality experts with over 40 years of experience in several um, excellence award examiners as well. Um, our consultant team has over 20,000 man hours, uh, man years, sorry, of industry experience, the entire global team. And we completed over 10,000 um, plus consulting assessments worldwide. That would be a quick introduction of ourselves. And here you can see the geographical spread of our worldwide offices, okay? You can see on the left-hand side here, uh, Americas, Europe, Asia Pacific, China, Thailand, um, Korea as well. Moving forward, I'd like to say the fact that we target six big markets, let's see. I'm gonna start with the first one, which is automotive. The second one, aerospace, semiconductor, EVAV, electrical uh, autonomous vehicle, medical devices, and also general manufacturing as well. You can see also the fact that uh, our services are not only software. Probably that's, that's our biggest advantage on the market, let's say. The fact that we integrate both our methodology experience with the software as well. So to add a bit more to that, you can see that we do gap analysis and diagnostic. We do training and personnel certification. We are certified to do that. Um, we do continuous uh, improvement in, uh, implementation and coaching. We do engineering design services and software, assessments and audits, and also product certification. The seven levers of automotive industry, it's IETF 6949. Second one is ISO 262662. Automotive um, spice, like A spy, supply chain practices, SOTIF, cybersecurity, agile APQP as well. In terms of worldwide customers, I'm happy to say the fact that we train, uh, we, we have more than 250,000 users across the globe and counting, which are using our software solution, which is called um, EWQMS. Part of the, our customer database, just to name a few, Micron, Valeo, Daimler, Lucid, Forvia, TVS, Magna, Pandora, Niapco as well. You can see it's a broad range of customers. Now, that was a quick introduction of Omnex, who we are, what we do, and what we've been doing for the last 35 years. The next question would be, okay, but why Omnix? Because we are an enterprise quality platform to manage new product launches for you and supply chain. We have integrated platforms, as I mentioned to you, to manage APQP, new product development, project management, uh, APQP PPAP documentation, like design and process FMEAs, inspection control as well, gauges. I'm gonna go a bit more into a nice graphical view about the integrated platform man uh, management. We have a proven solution used by global brands. 250,000 plus users, 30 plus years of experience in software usage, 30,000 uh, plus effort days of product development. Incorporated in our software solution, we have artificial intelligence, as you would expect nowadays, mobility, mobile apps, cloud and business intelligence, powering um, NPD and APQP digitalization. Connect and collaborate with your teams using our software. That's basically a huge advantage because if you're, if you're using a, a uh, a URL, then you can connect with everybody. The user interfaces are very intuitive and you will see that once I'm gonna um, go into the demo mode, 
the platform is available in both cloud and on-prem as well. So you can own it uh, on-prem. It is a global software implementation services integrated with coaching, implementation, and e-learning. Here comes the fact that I mentioned to you, we don't only train you for the software. We also bring our experience uh, from manufacturing not, and not only along with the software into training and implementation. Last but not least, very important is the fact that it has been designed by experts of the writing committee of several standards. So we help write the standards, train the auditors, implement software solutions and methodology, and provide staffing services. I mentioned to you about the um, overall, let's say, platform visualization. Well, these are all of the modules which can be plugged in one by one and they can work individually or they can work um, connected one to another. So we have the APQPP manager, requirement flow down, functional safety, Aqua Pro um, for your process and design documents, inspection control for your inspections, incoming, outgoing, on, uh, and ongoing. Problem solver, which helps you with managing and solve problems, solving problems through the use of integrated problem solving tools. MSA Pro, it is another another module. Um, manages basically your gauges and performs all MSA studies. Audit Pro, another module, allows you to plan, schedule, conduct, and close audits online. Also, using your phone only as well. TPM Pro, it is another um, module, part of our EWQMS. By the sound of it, manages your total productivity maintenance. HR Pro, manages employee um, skills matrices and training programs and competencies. BOSS is, uh, which you will see uh, in, in few minutes um, as visual management um, module for your dashboards and reports. Change management is another module. Warranty management as well. Document Pro, last but not least, manages your integrated management system. Whether we speak about the quality, health and safety, or environment, you can have everything on the one uh, module. Okay. I'd like to present to you a bit more focused um, information about the most important features or few of the most important features of our all-in-one solution. The first important feature is the fact that our software solution, it is an enterprise-wide web-based system. You can use it everywhere in the world. You don't have any restriction. You just use a URL. We are capable of managing multiple sites. In fact, we have at least two of our customers, and I'm proud to say that, that um, have 300 plus sites worldwide. That's why we had to adapt and support with multi-language and multi-date. In fact, we support more than 10 languages, English, Chinese, Spanish, German, French, Polish, the list goes on. The software itself has integrated email notifications, reminders and escalations, escalations just to help organizations and users as well to make sure that things are done uh, on time as planned. As well, the software, it is ready to integrate with legacy and ERP systems. We use single sign-on, so you don't have to have multiple passwords and it is IDAR compliant. As well, role-based security, and to put that into context, imagine you have the, sorry, imagine you have the quality engineer, which should see a bit more detailed view, and you have the quality director uh, as two different roles, and the quality director would like to see only a summary of everything what happens. That's why we came up with a role-based security as well. Mobility and cross-browser support, we use for many uh, modules as well apps. 
our software solution, it is in compliance with IAT 6949, FDA, ISO 9001, 262 ISO as well, and the list goes on and on. Okay? So that would be a global picture, let's say, of Omnex and of our software solution. Next, I would like to drive a bit the focus on our main topic today, which is the platform. So we managed to divide our suite into multiple platforms. And today we're going to talk about NPD, APQP platform. Along with AP, uh, NPD platform, we have EVAV platform, supplier quality management platform, and the integrated management systems, QAJC uh, platform as well. But today, we're only focusing on NPD, APQP platform. So, our software has the ability of having all deliverables in one place, like all of the actions in one place, and they interconnect with different modules, such as integration of programs documents with FMEAs and PPAP files. The solution provided by Omnix using uh, is APQP and NPD platform. Most of the organizations currently use Excel spreadsheets or other classic methods to manage their projects and programs, but never all in one place. And that could bring us many difficulties, visibility of the projects, transparency of the projects, um, and bottlenecks as well, that we cannot find what we want just in time. So by using the APQP NPD platform to manage APQP uh, PPAP and NPI activities, not only that all documents and information are kept under one umbrella, but now all team members have clear visibility on ongoing projects, uh, resource and budget allocation, pending of on-time and overdue deliverables or actions, and team's performance to complete the projects. As a matter of user experience is, all the above information is now available in the main landing page of EWQMSO. And the concept of the platforms came to help organizations integrating multiple applications and activities such as project management, FMEAs and APQPs and PPAPs, and also business performance related activities. Okay, like customer concerns, like um, planned versus actual budgets and uh, yeah, many other activities. What are the key features of the NPD platform? Because previously we saw the key features of um, the suite itself, right? With the modules. Now, the focus is a bit narrowed to the NPD platform. First of all, it's an all-in-one solution. Very intuitive. You'll have everything in one place. Any one page as well. It has integrated multiple areas of organization into a digitalized control environment, which is in our case called now EWQMS, Enterprise Worldwide Quality Integrated Management System. That's the acronym. We have the ability in NPD platform and also in all other platforms to import existing templates, Excel spreadsheets, XML files, and many other document files into the system without any other retouch into the software. We have the ability to reduce significant time by reusing information like libraries or templates or even lesson learned. We have the ability to integrate modules between each other in EWQIMS software. So modules communicate in the future. As I mentioned to you, you can start, for example, with APQPP Pump Manager or Aqua Pro, which deals with all of your FMEAs with the latest versions, you can then connect them once you think I'm going to start with a few other modules as well. Users also benefits of mobile apps, which are available for multiple modules inside of um, EWQMS suite. The NPD platform has the capability of integrating with other ERP systems, which our potential new customers and our current customers are currently, currently using. Last but not least, we have the ability to digitalize all areas of an organization with the complete architecture of EWQIMS 14 modules. 
Now, I would like to start with a with a live demo. And next, let me just stop sharing for a moment. Once I'm going to connect to the software. All right. So now I connected to the software solution. And by the way, I only use the URL. Once I connected to the software solution, then you see that I'm now on the main landing page. I didn't use any username or password. I just automatically use a single sign on and I'm now into the software. The main landing page, as I mentioned to you, gives to all of the users individually the opportunity to uh, create this main landing page based on how they want or how they need, let's say. And I started the example with the quality technician that he or she would like to see a bit more detailed information in terms of reports and dashboards so they can add a new widget, delete this widget, for example, from here, or even drag and drop option. While the quality manager wants to see only summarized information. So the quality manager can go into filters as well as uh, the quality engineer and apply these filters. Okay. On top of that, every user has the ability and the rights as well to create multiple pages only for himself or for herself for visualization. So this is user related main landing page. You can add a new landing page. You can then define the landing page that you want. Okay, and you'll see that now it just reloads how quick it is. Everything is visually around here. I can then expand the project summary. And by the way, this is just an example. In total, currently now, I have 191 projects and the percentage, percentage of completion is 12.37%. And 20 projects are at risk, which means I'm in real um, difficulties now with my projects. So I have first abil the ability to visualize the, the status of all projects. And then I can go and understand, based on a graph, the project completion in percentage. And then, for example, me as a user, I can then use visualizations. I can add an annotation and I can define an action in real time team by the next management review. Please prepare an action plan to increase the project completion percentage with at least 50%, for example. Click outside. I can move it however I want. I can expand it as I, as I want. I can play with it, as I mentioned to you. Right? But the most important, let's say, or nice feature is the fact that I don't have to take any more screenshots um, of this tab, because you can see I've got multiple tabs, or all of the tabs. I can simply go into file, export to PowerPoint directly. And I can define, do I export the active page or do I uh, export all of the pages? The page are these tabs. So for now, I'm just going to say I'm going to export into PowerPoint the active page. Click on OK, the software. There you have it. It's done it. Then here, I can go, sorry. I can go here and share it directly with, with my team. I don't have to do anything else. Probably doesn't sound too much, but if we think on a day-to-day -day basis, if you save two minutes, then multiply that with 252, how many days are into a year. And that's gonna be time saved for the organization. All right. Obviously, I can then add here files and data. I can sort it by based on the visual visualization types that I want. 
as a user. I can view my tools and I can add my tools and also I can ask questions if I want. Okay, just move this on the top. Now I'm not planning to change anything. So I mentioned to you it is all in one solution. At the very beginning, first you'll see high level information, dashboards, reports, based on your data from the software. You will also see, again, in the same page, all of the modules in one place. You don't have to scroll. You don't have to click many times to just go to different modules. You'll simply have them around here. OK? And then, for example, I'm going to go into project management, which is one module part of the APQP um, NPD platform. And from here, I have the ability to create for our organization programs, which consists multiple projects inside of the program. How I do it, simply select the project management, go to the programs. Once I selected the programs, all of my programs are going to be displayed here. And next, what I have to do, just select one program. I can add a new program. And I can review whichever uh, program I'd, I'd like. If I'm going to go into the uh, engine program, Delta Hawk as an example, let's say, you will see that I've got the entire program at 61% completion. That's an average of all of the projects coming together, and I have 61%. So I have the injected ASI 100% completed, Insulation pad 100% completed, but unfortunately, hardware is keeping me down from percentage uh, completion point of view. So, what does it gives me this APQP PPAP manager as um, a, a great input to my organization? Why would I digitalize this? Well, first of all, you have the ability. I'm just going to choose battery pack, for example, now. You have the ability to define all of the phases of a new APQB um, program. So in my case, I've got five phases now, but you're not limited to just stay to five phases. So I've got plan and, and define the program, product design and, and development. Then I've got product and process validation, feedback as well. So I can expand the, these. And I can have everything in one place, including defining lists, having input and output documents into the same page. We'll get that into a second. I have the ability to define meetings. You see this icon here. I have the ability to define routes of approval or routes of reminders. I have the ability to define critical path. I can also have the ability to identify risks. We'll get to all of these options uh, in, in, in a sec. So I defined now the project plan, which by the way, if you already have one in Excel, you can easily import it by using the templates function. And then you have a section checklist, you, you can import it. And you'll end up with something like this as a project plan. And part of your project plan, you'll have your deliverable names. When we plan to start and finish, when actual started and actual finished, resource allocation, percentage completion, resource allocation, budgeted or planned hours, and actual hours as well. So the ABQP PPAP gives you the ability to not only controlling your resource um, loading, but also will be able to oh, planning your resources, but also gives you, gives you a clear vision of plan versus actual budget in terms of hours. How many budgeted uh, hours were allocated for this project and how many actual were um, completed? Okay, I mentioned to you that all of these deliverables will always have to have an input document and an output document. How do we manage that? Well, easy. You just define the attachments, just like I have it here. And then I can define the 
attach input document. Excuse me. <coughs> Simply click on the attach input document. I have now the ability to define the name of the input document. Who's going to be the resource responsible for um, inputting this document? I have the ability to attach file from my PC local from document pro which is document pro module so here comes the integration with other modules as well aqua pro is another modules another module you can visualize it here forms is another area that you can bring forms in and also you can use non controlled hyperlinks for example we call non controlled everything what's outside from the software whether we speak about an ERP system, which you currently have, we can bring documents from that system into the uh, EWQMS software. Once we add the document, that's going to be the um, input document. Obviously, here I have the ability to visualize deliverable names, budgeted hours for this specific deliverable or action, right? Budgeted hours 42.5. Budgeted rate 0 0.425. What's the status? This deliverable is at risk because also the deadline has been violated. How many actual hours? I defined 42.5. I spent eight. So you'll have by deliverables or by actions, plan versus actual hours. And also if the deliverable it is at risk. Okay. You have quality of events as well. And you can add as many inputs and as many uh, input documents you would like. Okay. I mentioned to you that you can call meetings from the software itself. Let me just go to this icon here. When I'm going to click on this meeting, it's going to take me a, a little while to just um, display all the information about how do I define a meeting and what's that um, comprehending. So. I define the meeting here. I will be able to call a new meeting, date, entity, because as I mentioned to you, we can we can have multi sites. So at the corporate level, location, meeting date, I can define the meeting agenda. I can call external attendees. So you're not limited to use it only for your internal team members. You just have to put the email address. You will end up with a, with an action plan. Meeting, meeting attachments, but you also have the option of submitting meeting minutes. And then you say, I'm just going to send the invitation email or save it. And all the users which are part of this meeting will receive an email notification, say, hey, John or Andre, um, here are the meeting minutes, agenda, action plan of today's meeting. When it comes to risks, you can see that I've got a, a complete um, line of risk into the module. And I can visualize some of them directly here. If I'm going to get back to the deliverables, I will have one, um, one deliverable or action design verification it is at risk and i'm going to click on risk currently has one risk but i have the ability to add if i have the rights as well multiple risks how do i do it simply right click add a new risk and then once i finalize this i can export it into excel as well okay so so many options into APQP PPAP Manager, uh, which is the core, let's say, um, module of our NPD platform. And to just bring back a few other points, let's say, you can install gate reviews where has been required by your organization or you as a leadership will define to have the gate reviews. I have the ability to have um, all these project plan and actions approved by different team members. I also have the ability to verify my resource allocation across projects. I'm also uh, visualizing like a resource chart. 
I mentioned to you about the risks. I can define the risks priority as well from here. And then simply I can log this into my document control, which again is part of document pro if you want, or we can integrate it with um, another system. So that would be the very first module, let's say. Speaking about modules, you probably heard me about, right, we had APQB, FMEAs, Document Control, Audit Pro, Audits, Problem Solver. All of these are going under one platform. Aqua Pro is the module that helps us as an organization to comply with the latest AGVDA from automotive industry. But not only, I have the ability to create my FMEAs, design and process as well. And you can see how easy it is for me to just navigate into the software. I have the process flow PFMA control plan in one place. I have the design into another icon, but of the same place, design FMEA. MSR as well, DVPNR, DRBFM base. And a very positive point, which brings us a lot of return of investment, which I'm going to talk at the very end, is the fact that we came with the idea of reusable information. So reusable libraries. We create a library, for example, design library or a process library or I have a library for my characteristics as well, a library for my um, process item functions, tools, gauges. So it saves organizations an impressive amount of time, but also helps organizations to standardize, right? So you see that there are many um, areas, visual management, transparency, having everything in one place, all in one um, solution of all modules, L reusable libraries, return of investment, saving time, all of them with using this type of um, EWQMS uh, software solution. As I mentioned, Aqua Pro, which is the software solution for the FMEA, integrates with APQP if required. So you can have all of your PPAP documents in APQP PPAP um, with the latest AAG VDA, for example, if you want, format or fourth edition. And how easy it is for me to just go now and, and just select, for example, a process FMA as an example. No, here, I'm just going to um, choose one sample, nothing here. But what I'm trying to say is let me just pick one of the um, FMEAs. It's currently in fourth edition format. You will see in the return of investment that this is a big uh, time saver because I'm now into AAG 4th edition, going to AAG VDA 1st edition. Look after my production item. Select it. Job done. PFMEA, it is now in AAG VDA edition. There you have it. Okay. All right. That would be another module, part of the um, NPD, New Product Development. Again, part of the um, um, NPD platform, we have Problem Solver. What the Problem Solver does helps us with um, customer concern, internal comp complaints, but also um, accepts or rejects um, concerns during the evaluation stage. Another module as well is what we call Audit Pro, or I can go with Functional Safety or Change Management as well. 
But what, why don't I click now into documents? To just explain you a little bit the integration of uh, APQPP, Pub, Aqua Pro, and documents. Documents is document pro module. How does it help us as an organization? Well, first of all, it's just standardizing your integrated management system, quality, health and safety, and in environment. It gives you the, the capability to have a controlled area of your documents. And if until now you had a folder, for example, into your SharePoint called Archive for your previous revisions, that's not the case anymore with having a digitalized version. Why? Because I can have all of them in one place. Who Who's the owner of the document? When has been requested? When has been changed? You can download, you can visualize the document directly. So everything in one place. You can search, but not the simple, the, the, the classic uh, search, let's say, we have the advanced search as well. You probably forget, I remember I saw a document, but I cannot remember the number. Well, you don't have to remember all of these things anymore because you can advanced search for the document number like, document name, classification, category, storage location, revision date in between within last week, last month, searching all levels as well within past year. So it's just an advanced way of searching for your document or even folders for your procedures, for your forms, for your policies as well. When it comes to, I have now a system, but my users should be a little bit controlled, let's say when it comes to approval of documents we all know we have to have approvals in place well we have the ability to define um approval routes just like you see it here for all of the modules not only for one module there you have it i can define a new approval route straight now i can create or i can call the name description and I can say first round of approval, second, or I can install how many rounds of approvals I want. To put that into more context, the quality engineer creates a procedure, but always the quality manager has to approve it. On top of that, the plant manager has to approve as a second round of approval. Then this is the area where we define it. If the quality engineer sent this document to the quality manager, but the quality management manager didn't respond it, then we have another area called escalation routes, which we will always help our customers to define. Then the quality manager will receive a, a notification and a reminder, say, hey, quality manager, uh, you must respond to this email. Okay, there are so many options directly here that um, all of the users benefits of. Okay, that would be a quick demo, let's say, uh, of the NPD platform. Um, I'd like to get back to the PowerPoint presentation because um, we're having about 15 minutes more um, let's say, and I'd like to just touch base uh, into some um, very helpful areas for the attendees today. So when it comes to um, AquaPro module, we all know that we have design FMEA, DVPNR, DRBFM, which part of the information has to flow down into your process FMEA, right? So our software, not only that it, it is doing it, um, the flow down, but it's also a dynamic flow down. And I'll explain that more in a second. So I've got my DFMEA, DVPNR, 
process flow diagram, PFMEA, and control plan. And last but not least, I've got the work instructions. So from my design FMEA, I can link my characteristics. I can link my um, failure or effects, right? Directly into my PFMEA. If I'll build then uh, my process flow diagram, all the information for my process flow diagram without error would be dynamically linked into PFMEA, into my control plan, and all the way down to my work instructions. I mentioned automatic and dynamic link. I meant to say that dynamic link is not only that flows the information from my process flow to PFMA control panel and work instruction. But if I will change an operation number, let's say, into control plan, all the other documents automatically gets updated, which I think um, it is a really time saver as well. Okay, what are the uh, options a module like AquaPro for my uh, FMEA can do? Well, it can do the uh, V model and BOM as well, just like you visualize it here. You have the family part structure, you have the V model, and you have the item elements. So the entire V model from the battery pack, as an example, can connect right down to a component such as cooling pipe or a thermal sensor, which might be in China, and the battery pack, which might be produced in Europe, for example, can all come into one page and collaborate and do the product design. Even AIG VDA requires analysis to multiple product levels from the bomb. So with the software, we can do that, okay? When it comes to um, how can we improve and how can we save time? We came with, with an idea of inheritance. So the inheritance is I create families of products, of similar products. Then I will define what Ford calls foundation. Um, I will define then the foundation, which automatically inherits to all of the similar, we call them children of the same parent. So if I have here two children, for example, excuse me, <coughs> the child number one and the child number two will inherit everything what has been defined at the parent level. In the future, we identify a new failure mode, which came at the child number one, uh, or the part number 001, for example, we can promote that failure to my higher level, which is parent. And because of the inheritance, again, would be applied the same information to all of my similar products. So you don't have to manually go and do it over and over again. <coughs> Excuse me. So the concept is the concept of inheritance and um, creating families of components, okay? I mentioned to you about the libraries because we thought, okay, what's the, what's the best way to optimize and save time and ultimately cost to our uh, customer? Well, concept of inheritance is one of the uh, engines, but the other engine is the concept of reusable libraries. So we have process reusable libraries for my process operations, like receiving, polishing, washing, milling, drilling, um, and also design libraries, yeah, as I mentioned to you, um, for your functions, requirements, and so on. So for an example, I'd like to create my product A. I'm simply going into the library and pick what I need to produce this product A, receiving, milling, drilling, washing, packing, and shipping, okay? 
when it comes to um, mobile apps, as I mentioned to you, we have also one of our important um, drivers, let's say, is artificial intelligence and uh, mobility. We have some apps. And to just introduce a few, problem solver. You can use it on your phone, tablet, portable device in both Apple Store or uh, Android as well. What you have to do, you go and um, download the app, and then you can directly create new concerns from your phone. You can assess in progress to closed concerns as well. You can have in uh, a visualization of in progress to rejected concerns, in progress to canceled concerns, you will also have the ability to create project checklists. Excuse me. And another um, example of our mobile apps is Audit Pro application download, right? We have an, an Audit Pro app. So you simply take your phone or your tablet into manufacturing line, conduct your audit. You have initially your audit details because you, you initially do your uh, audit schedule, right? Schedule. Then you you have your audit details. You perform the audit, like you have it here, for example, audit list. You perform the audit by filling the checklist. You identify. We all know that we don't perform an audit to identify non-conformances. We perform an audit to identify conformance, but unfortunately, many times there are non-conformities or opportunities for improvement. With the app and the uh, module, we can uh, identify both. Using the phone into the manufacturing with or without access to the internet. This is a very important point. So I can take pictures or I can use my voice recognition to create an NC just like you visualize it here into this page. As I mentioned to you, you can have the Audit Pro app into offline mode and online mode and language option as well. So you can use it in many languages. OK. Not the last topic, but we're just about to finish. I mentioned to you about the return of investments because as good as, as good as it sounds and it looks, any type of service, let's say, the next question would be, okay, so what's the return of investment? Well, for our NPD ABQP platform, the return of investment in time savings in managing the uh, new product development launches is 50%. Defect reduction, 30%. Cost savings in defect resolution and Reoccurrence, 50%. Cost savings on product quality, 50%. Speed gains on digital thread that connects requirements to shop floor documents, 20%. Cost savings in eliminating silo software, 40%. And 30% time savings on product development with collaboration. And with that, uh, we have another five minutes, let's say, to um, let me just stop sharing for, for a second. Um, we have five more minutes. And I'd like to, to walk you through um, a Q&A, very short Q&A. And um, I'd also like to express the fact that we have uh, some APQP and core tools training. Let me share back the screen. I'll uh, put it into presentation mode. So I'm just going to take one more minute for uh, what tools, uh, sorry, what APQP and core tools trainings we plan to have. Uh, understanding the core tools, so APQP, PPAP, DFME, DVPNR, PFME, Control Plan, SPC, and MSA. Multi-point DFMEA for mechatronic and electronic systems. Machine FMEA, uh, 
Measurement System Analysis, like the MSA, SPC, Statistical Process Control Workshop, SPC and Associated Tools as well, Product Development using SFMEA, DFMEA, like System FMEA, Design FMEA and Association, Associated Tools, APQP, Manufacturing Process Development using PFMEA and PPAP, Understanding the Five Phases of APQP PPAP, Advanced Product Quality Planning Overview, AAG DFMEA for practitioners and facilitators, uh, AAG P, uh, FMEA for managers and implementers, implementation training, um, AAG VDA um, FMEA understanding, implication strategy, um, execute, executive, sorry, overview, and process FMEA AAG VDA control plans for practitioners and facilitators, and also um, AAG VDA MS. So last but not least, um, I identified the fact that we have a few questions, so I'll try to respond. Uh, very good question. Thank you, uh, Thomas Finke. How long does it take to implement a mid-sized organization with five, 10 plans for an NPD platform? Very good question, as I mentioned to you. Our target and uh, timing, let's say, for a complete module implementation is 21 working days. So um, that would be the, the answer for 510 plans is going to be 21 days, as long as the customer also shares the same availability. Um, thank you for the question, Hans Gerl Lohrmann. Uh, does the software run in a cloud or on-premise? Um, good question. Thank you for the question as well. The software solution runs in both that is pure customer um, what customer wants so if the customer wants to go with your with the cloud solution we can provide that if the customer wants to own the software and goes on-prem we can also provide on-premise um, installation as well so I hope I answered. Okay, so I answered to the first one. Thank you. Thanks for the question, Hans. Any other question? We still have one more minute, and I would like to um, make sure that. Thank you, Hans, again. So we have no more open questions. Last but not least, I'd like to take this one minute as an opportunity to thank you for being part of our uh, webinar today. And I hope uh, I have seen the list. I hope in the future I will um, be able to work with um, as many team members that attended today uh, for our software implementation and training as well. So with this, having said that, thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Thank you.